And I would like to start by thanking uh, Anthony and the Beanley District Community Development Association for the opportunity to support this event. It has been truly fantastic collaborating with, uh, with Anthony on this conference. Um, so my name is, is Stephanie. I've been working at the Alcohol and Drug Foundation, which is a national organisation for the past eight years. And the last three and a half years have been within a community development role, um, essentially supporting community organisations across Victoria and Tasmania to uh, plan, uh, deliver and evaluate um, evidence-informed activities aiming to prevent alcohol and drug-related harms. Um, so in a nutshell, a lot of that work is, is around community connection. And I had the pleasure of connecting with, <clears throat> excuse me, with Anthony through uh, my studies through Griffith University. Um, sort of following on from what Anthony was saying, he and I have been having quite a few conversations over the past few months in planning for this event. Um, and we've, we've talked a lot about the current circumstances in this big and unusual year of 2020. Um, and its impacts on community, the challenges and the silver linings. And it's, um, it's been interesting that um, one of the, or a couple of the things that we've certainly agreed on, which essentially fall into some of the key principles of community development, um, is that knowledge and collaboration is power. Um, many of us are working probably harder than ever, um, supporting clients, individuals, families, groups and communities to look after themselves, look after each other, and make informed decisions about their health and well-being and any circumstances that are, that are within their locus of control. So I really think the, the timing of this event is quite ideal as, as Anthony was alluding to. Um, it's that time to be increasing each other's knowledge and understanding of the work that, that we do and what we offer the Beanley community. Um, it's that time to explore opportunities for collaboration if we have the capacity to do so. Um, which essentially then leads to reducing some of those silos that are quite prevalent across community work. 